Hello guys, thank you for joining me today for this bit of full twin flame reading. It's Wednesday the 26th of October 2022. I do hope you're well and you're coping with the intense energies because we had that new moon in so um the new moon in Scorpio, sorry, the solar eclipse. So the energies are very intense. I hope that you are staying focused, believing and trusting in what you already know and that you're taking good care of yourself as well. So for this reading today, I'm going to bring in the Soul's Journey Oracle deck, first of all, and I'm going to see what's going on with the Divine Masculine's current energy, how they're feeling, what they're experiencing, and then I'm going to go on to see what the Divine Masculines would love to share and express from their true self. And then I'm going to see what's going on with the Divine Feminines, and I'm going to bring Diana Cooper in for the Divine Feminines energy. This new beautiful deck that I was gifted by Goody. It's such a cute deck. It's Angels of Light Oracle. So let's see what's going on with the Divine Muskins first of all. Thank you to all of you for the lovely support that you give me. I'm so very grateful to each one of you. And if any of you guys are interested in any extra support, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. There is an offer for the rest of this year for the phone sessions and I'm getting quite booked up with that. So if you're interested, just email me. So let's see what's going on today with the Divine Masculines. How are they feeling? What they're working through? What's their current energy? If you are new to my channel, I do use the labels Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine because that's our channel. Please don't be offended. Just put into your situation how it resonates with you. I do realise it's just energy. So let's see what's coming through today for the Divine Masculines. Let's see. Empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of the situation. I'm going to bit get some more as well um, and we've got this beautiful lilac sort of purple coming through and we've got the same coming through here as well which is surrender so this is about the crown chakra and the third eye so um, chakra as well I'm feeling and I release my need to control and envy I'm the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Blame, so they're getting rid of this blame. So this colour here has reminds me of the sacral chakra here, and we've got a lot of red coming through, which is about the root chakra. Um, and this yellow is a bit of a mustard colour yellow, but yellow is about the solar plexus as well. And we've got throat chakra coming through with blue here. Fear, hmm. So they're surrendering to this fear. They're letting go and handing this over to divine. Um, and at the bottom of the get deck, sorry, uh, um, abundance is coming through and forgiveness. Yes, yeah, so a lot going on today with the divine muscle in energy. They're working through quite a lot. Forgiveness of self, forgiveness for things that have happened in their past, things that have happened in their life they've experienced they're having to let go of it surrendering it and it's created so much fear for them the way they're living their life now so they're being pushed to let go and we've got again that deep violet I don't know if you can see it guys which is crown chakra sacral chakra with the orange and we've got blue with the throat chakra um, as well so a lot going on with the chakras today so they're releasing this resentment and really being pushed to forgive themselves and by you know letting go surrendering it shifts this energy and brings in so much abundance and this abundance that they are attracting into their life you know they're being showered with abundance because everything that they've been working through is working towards to have this stability in their life that is why we've got this root shot for coming through they're longing to have this stability in their life and now everything that they're building on is going to be solid because it's going to be coming from a place of unconditional love because they've been working through letting go of this fear not allowing this fear to control them and they're, they're having so much more empathy towards others 
and your divine masculine you know again put it into your situation how it resonates with you where they you know they are quite sensitive and they are empaths they really pick up on other people's energies and they have great empathy towards others and even more so now because of what they've experienced on their journey because they're understanding themselves so much more they can see other people's point of view they can see what other people are going through because they're being honest and real with themselves they're allowing themselves to feel so they do feel for others and they've been releasing this envy and blame as well blaming themselves putting pressure on themselves and this is very heightened today in this energy this is what they're dealing with and you know letting go of this envy to actually not be envy of others and other people's life the way that they're living their life trying to change themselves and change their situation what's going on for them right now to actually accept where they are right now accept the whole of them and the only time we experience envy is when we're not content with ourselves and we're trying to change ourselves and we're looking and viewing other people's lives or other people as if they're so much better than us and that they're having a better life than us a better experience than us that's because we're seeing through the eyes of fear um, and we you know we, we get irritated and we we don't have compassion towards others and with blame as well we blame others but all of that is changing and they're working through this big time which is quite intense because that is pushing them to surrender everything this envy this blame the fear the stuff that they've you know stopped themselves from doing in their life you know moving forwards going for their dreams and desires all of this is bringing so much abundance and, and feeling all of this going through this is uncomfortable but they're happy that they're learning to have to be so much more empathic towards others to understand others that everybody's journey is unique and everybody are working through you know their fears that they are learning to change that perception, oh, you know, it's okay for that person because they haven't had to deal with this and they haven't got to do that, to actually see beyond that, to look deeper than that. And they could have been quite envy of you, thinking, well, they're just getting on with their life, that you know, because they can feel your power, they can feel that you're taking the lead. And that's because you're understanding so much more about this journey, if you're a divine feminine watching because whatever you're doing for yourself to one feminines when you're putting your the focus on yourself giving to yourself and you you're taking the lead in your life living your life in the tr in your truth being the love that you are you're doing that for your divine muscle because you're one soul in two physical bodies so a lot of releasing coming through but through that it's bringing so much abundance and it's going to be so solid this abundance is here to stay bringing this stability in they have been putting so much pressure on themselves and blaming themselves even if it doesn't seem like that to you it's hidden from you um they blame themselves and then because of that's all going on within themselves they react with fear and they do become very envy and think it's okay for everybody else and you can feel this at times as well and things like that you're working through and by releasing it and working through it you do have this great empathy towards others you can see yourself in others and you can feel what other people are going through so let's see what comes through with the communication from the divine masculine's true self so I'm going to use messages from your Divine Masculine's, sorry, Divine Masculine Messages of Love from Beautiful Liz from Guided by Angels to see what's going to come through. So what is it the Divine Masculine's would love to share and express to the Divine Feminines right now in this moment of this reading? What is it they want you to know to get off their chests? 
so it could be an, uncom an uncomfortable day but even on those days when we feel like it's a struggle and we're experiencing fear and we're releasing and that is pushing us to surrender to let go of control to let go of these fears and it's creating this abundance for us because we're making room for the new so your smell drives me wild so they love your smell <laughs> nobody compares to you and our love is eternal yeah so again they may have found out more about this relationship that they understand that it's different from anything that they've ever experienced before and they may know the labels twin flames but they know that this love is eternal they know that this is relationships very deep and they know that nobody else compares to you they may have tried to move on from you they may have tried they may have tried to feel this way about somebody else but nobody compares to you <laughs> there isn't nobody like you and they're accept this is again acceptance coming through they're not fighting this anymore they're quite aware that they can't feel this way about anybody else and your smell drives them wild so that can be you know if you've been intimate with your divine masculine they're you know they're remembering your natural scent um or if you haven't had intimacy with your divine master you haven't been that close or you haven't even met your divine master and, you know they're imagining what it's going to be like what you smell like and some of your divine masters may have you know been close to you um where they can smell your perfume where they've got a whiff of your perfume or they're doing something in their day and it reminds them maybe at a certain drink that you used to have together or certain foods that you had together and it just reminds them of you so just put it into your situation how it resonates with you um but you d you do drive them wild <laughs> and i feel you so they're really feeling you today really feeling you and that's because they're letting go and they're opening up more and more allowing themselves to feel it does get more intense you do feel each other's energy so much more when you're in your truth and being reminded of who you truly are removing these layers the conditioning the programming the limitations you're removing what no longer serves you and that covers so so many things so next I'm going to use the Divine Masculine Secrets to see what else comes through. So what else is it the Divine Masculines are feeling today? What is it they want the Divine Feminines to know right now in this moment of this reading? What is it they want you to know? What is their secrets that you, you don't know about yet? <laughs> nice clear message please Divine Masculines. Oops. The love I feel for you is an unexplainable, yeah. So again, they do have a deeper understanding and they just can't put it into words how you make them feel. This love is unexplainable. The lyrics from the songs you are drawn to is me communicating how I truly feel. So be aware of music. And if you are drawn to a certain song and the lyrics are standing out to you, trust that. And you, you you do get that feeling where you know, oh my, my goodness, this is my divine masculine speaking to me. And it could be a new song or it could be a song that you used to listen to together. But trust that. Don't think to yourself, oh my goodness, I'm not paying attention to that. I'm not allowing myself to feel that because I'm seeing the complete opposite in the 3D. Trust your feelings and what songs that you are drawn to that touches your soul blows your mind that takes your breath away because of the lyrics the words you know know that that is your divine masculine speaking to you don't doubt it the next time we see each other you will be shocked how much i've changed so you're going to be shocked because you know of this releasing that they're doing of envy blaming themselves blaming others for everything because they're taking this responsibility of themselves and you know, that is all coming from a place of fear. Fear of not feeling good enough. 
fear of rejection, fear of abandonment. They're surrendering all this, they're letting go of all this. And you are going to be shocked because they're going to be so much more empathic to others, people around them, so much more understanding, seeing other people's point of view, seeing themselves in others, just being more compassionate and understanding. And that's because they're giving it to themselves. We fit perfectly together. They know that you fit perfectly together and this love is eternal. <laughs> so deep understanding and responsibility, acceptance coming through again in this reading. But an intense day, I would say, for the Divine Masculines. So next I'm going to use the Diana Cooper, like I said. This beautiful deck that's really cute. That goody gifted me <laughs> to see what's going on with you divine feminines so what is it the divine feminines are experiencing what is it that they're working through what's their current energy and what is the support and the guidance as well to help you stay in that place of truth being the love that you are to always trust and believe in yourself and trust that love that is within you what is it is going on today with the Divine Feminines. Nice clear message please. Let's see. I'm going to spread them there. Because they're so cute. Fun. So it's time to have fun. To relax and have fun. And I know at times we're like, what fun? I don't feel like having fun being on this journey. I just want to get off of this journey. And then I'm going to have fun. <laughs> but it is time to have, to have fun right now. And you can have fun on this journey when you're seeing through the eyes of love. And even on the days, that, you know, if you are particularly feeling uncomfortable when you're struggling today, it's about the awareness of it. Um, acknowledging how you're feeling and allowing yourself to feel. And that completely shifts your energy um, anyway, because you're in acceptance. Again, I want, this is how I'm feeling today. But the only time we come away from fun and we become serious and we feel like we've got the world on our shoulders um, is when we're not trusting ourselves and we're not trusting the journey and we're not trusting in God. We're disconnected. But when we're trusting, we feel safe, we feel protected and we're trusting and believing in what we already know. We can have so much fun and we just experience joy in our life. But again, don't be hard on yourself when you're struggling or you, you feel discomfort because you're releasing. It's about taking care of you on care of yourself on those days. Your guidance is to take time to enjoy yourself, relax, find your sense of humour, treat things lightly. Yeah. Again, when you're aware of that you're feeling this or you're having these thoughts that are coming and making you feel um really bad about yourself and and you're feeling insecure, actually observe that, observe that of yourself and actually smile. <laughs> um, and, it's, you know, and make friends again, I would say, with the ego. Because we do go on about the ego as if it's such a bad thing, but we do need our ego. And it's just about being friends with ego, making peace with ego and having balance with higher self and ego. Fun brings lightness of spirit and the most difficult situation can be eased if you see the funny side of things. So cultivate the sense of the ridiculous. Yeah, so laugh at yourself when you're behaving like that or you feel like that. Just have the awareness that that's what's going on. How can you bring play, laughter and fun into your social life, your relationships or your work life? When you have fun, the angels rejoice for there is nothing they love more than joy, play, humour and laughter. Yes. <laughs> and when we're having fun and we're in this lighter energy, um, it's, you know, this is felt. And it's showing that we are so open because we're trusting. We're so we're trusting and we bring so much abundance and we experience more fun and joy because we're showing that we've let go. And creativity. The angels suggest that you explore your creative potential now. Creativity is an energy for adventure and change. It may herald a new idea, inspiration for a book or artistic vision of a new project. Let your imagination flow. If you do not know how to channel the force, you may feel restless or 
dispirited. So ask your angels to help you direct your creative energy towards something worthwhile. The angel of wisdom reminds you that you are co-creator with the divine. Use your power with wisdom and joy. And they go joy coming through as well. So when you're having fun, when you're in this lighter energy, you do become more creative because you're not holding up, holding back. And you're open to receive new ideas, new opportunities because you're relaxed and this is a good time to start new creative projects so today you could be feeling you could be feeling this more playful and you're having fun today and you're feeling more creative or you're this is a support and the guidance to help you to remind you how to have fun again not to be so serious not to have the whole world on your shoulders to let go because life is fun it's again about perception how you're viewing your situation how you're viewing life when you put love into the situation which you do have the strength you do have the courage to actually do that when you put light into the darkness it changes everything so that's when the creativity comes in so it is a good time for you to be creative and you're learning to be more and more creative and this is about being creative, this is about expression as well, expressing yourself, because there is so much that wants to come out, and you could be holding back, because you're so rigid, and you're so, you're, you're, you're blocked, and so set in your ways, be open, and remember those times when you've had fun in your life, and how it made you feel. It makes you feel free. You experience this freedom. You experience this peace. And that is how you should be living your life. And that's what you're being pushed to do. On this journey. To understand that your life. Doesn't have to be a struggle. It isn't meant to be a struggle. You're, exper you're supposed to be experiencing fun. Joy. And to be able to be so much more creative because you're not holding back. You're not giving up, you know, thinking, oh, I'm not very good at that, blah, blah, blah. You're actually identifying your gifts, your talents and what you're good at. And you're moving forwards with it because you're feeling good about yourself and you're not allowing the fear to hold you back. So just put this into your situation, how it resonates with you. But it's time to have fun and be more creative is the message the one feminine or you could be just feeling this today it's really sort of highlighted within you where you're feeling excited and you're wanting to be more creative so thank you so much for joining me today for this beautiful twin flame reading if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to subscribe like and share because it really does help my channel grow if you feel connected to me and thank you to all of you for the love and support that you give me i'm so very grateful for each one of you and i'm sending you all so much love my support my strength and light and i love you all so very much see ya oh, what's your soul saying?